Hey guys, in this video here, I'm going to go ahead and play the AI of the board just to see how it works. And um, so what you do to play the AI is very obvious. It's right here on the screen. You push, click AI. I'm going to play as white. I'm going to play a five minute plus five second game. I pick the level as auto. And I'm going to go ahead and click play game. And it's going to check the board setup. And I'm just going to go ahead and get that little piece off here. And I'm going to play my pet um, D4 opening here and uh, see how everything goes. One thing I will notice from playing with this board when you play with the pieces, you want to try to put them as centered in the squares as possible because sometimes it won't take. So I have noticed that from just, um, um, you know, uh, messing around with the board. So just be, if you ever have any problem that seeming like something has went wrong with your setup or like when you move pieces for your side or the computer side, just try to make sure you center the pieces as close as possible. They're a little offset uh, or too offset. It won't take it and it'll start uh, um, uh, not knowing what has happened. So with that said, um, let's get back to the game here. Um, let's see. He's already seemingly out of the opening book because he didn't play. He's not playing a fast move here. I mean, there's so many typical moves to play. Okay, D6. Yeah, that's a pretty typical move. All right, so I'm going to go C4. One thing I like about this D4 system, it kind of can transpose to a Queen's Gambit uh, decline or even a Queen's Gambit or um, a, a, a sort of Catalan type position. So very easy opening to get into. Or it's a system rather, not necessarily an opening. But um, and, and I guess to to um, to say what's the difference between a system and an opening is that. And the opening is kind of specific, like you can only play it in certain cases, but a system you can play it almost no matter what nobody else plays. So this here is more like a system. It's kind of like the London system, like you really can't stop, necessarily stop somebody from playing the London system unless you play something that's really bad. Okay, so I was kind of thinking he was going to do that. So whenever they take this pawn like this, um, that's okay. So you one move one idea here is to go a4 to kind of isolate this pawn uh main, mainly we're going to come over uh rook to uh, say e1 push e4 those sorts of moves are in the pipeline so you can get a quite comfortable playable position um when, when playing uh okay see something just happened right okay there was his knight sorry yeah, I made a bad move there. Okay, so yeah, you can get a quite decently comfortable position to play um, out of this opener. You do leave some holes in your position a little bit by playing certain moves, but um, there is, that's just chess. You, you give and take and see how it goes. But so far, even though we're not that far into the game, what I can say about the AI so far is that it seemingly is not playing uh, really, really bad moves because I think that's one of the things that I saw in some openings that play um uh you know when you play like with AI that adapts and things like that like sometimes they play just outright bad moves instead of just kind of trying to say pick the third or fourth best move they'll just pick outright bad moves so again we are early in the game but um uh but you know we'll we'll see how everything goes here Okay. All right. Interesting. All righty. So let's just go. Let's just go to here. Let's go right here. Bring develop this bishop here. That might not have been an optimal move. Maybe bishop f4 might have been better, but um, th this is also given a chance just to see, because again, I don't think that's the strongest move, so it's given a chance to see just what caliber moves that the AI is going to play, at least in my eye anyway. All right, so what am I expecting here? Maybe, okay, good good waiting move by the, by, uh, the AI. I'm going to just go ahead and go ahead now because this was kind of the idea. I want to put a little pressure on this uh, pawn that I, on uh, this C4 pawn, see what he does. I 
I may even play some awkward move just to see what it will do. Let me see how he goes about this. Yeah, I thought he was going to do something like that. Okay, because if I go there, he's threatening to... to uh, He's threatening to get my... If I take that pawn... So let's just go... Let's just go to... Okay. I'm going to go queen to here. Again, I know that ain't the best move, but I just want to see just what how it's going to respond to that. All right, because now the idea is I want to go knight uh, to e5. Okay, so he went here. So my idea was to do, see, he kind of stopped it, which is good. That's, that's, um, um, you know, it's, it's playing. I, I think it's playing pretty good chess. Okay. So now let's do this. Because the idea is that we want to open up this uh, queen side. So let's go ahead and do a waiting move here. Let's do that. And that kind of still isolates that c4 pawn a little bit more. I think black's position might be just a little bit... okay. Make a nice waiting move. So now I'm just going to go back to. Now I'm all, Let's see. Let's go here. So now I'm going to go back to E2, depending on what he does, and threaten to win that. Um, but now he kind of got some protection because of the rook. Because if I take pawn on Passant. If he pushes, say, B5. Okay, now that's interesting. Okay. That's not, uh, I didn't really. Let's, uh. Let's, okay, so now he got a pawn. Oh, I see the idea. It's not too bad. Okay, let's go ahead and take this pawn here. I think what I'm going to do is it might be a series of changes here and I might end up getting knight to d5, depending on what he does. So, so far so good. I think it's a pretty, again, I can, I feel like the AI is um, playing actually pretty good here. Okay, so he's still stopping d5, which is interesting. So, let me check let's see what he's doing with that knight here so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna go ahead and push this yeah let's open this line up here i'm gonna go ahead and you know kind of undermine this knight here I got a minute and 30 seconds left. He has two minutes. I got to start moving a little faster here. Well, I went, I mean, again, like I said, the AI in this game is, I think, uh, seemingly better than uh, the AI I've seen in other types of, um, of, uh, of, of boards, like, for example, the DGT Centaur. Because the DGT Centaur, always is like when you play with Fritz on friendly mode and things like that. The problem with those engines is that they just sometimes play outright bad moves. Um, and, and that's not really a bad thing. Maybe depending on the caliber of player, um, um, 
depending on, oh, I did not see that fork, I gotta admit. Okay. But that's okay. Okay, let me go here. How much night takes? They got both of my, uh, well, let me just go ahead and Let me see. Well, we can go here. I don't think that because his knights are trapped. I think I can do this here, I believe. Let's see. All right, I'm going to try here. Let me go here. I'm going to try not to lose both of my rooks here. I think the AI in this game plays quite strong because I mean I feel like I know I'm about around a 2,000 level player and I know I'm not playing the strongest moves but I'm not even playing close to weak moves either so um, let me go ahead and take this um, so I feel like the, the, the AI is really playing quite appropriately it might be again it, it might be playing slightly too strong but at the same time it might need to give you a challenge that's right, because again, right now it seems like it's not really letting up that much on me here, which which is fine. Uh, let me go ahead and take this. I guess I got to take it with this here. Yeah, I got to take it with the rook. I got to hurry up here. 36 seconds to that minute and 40 seconds. All right. Let's see what we got here. So, so I got to say, okay, now that's uh, an interesting one. Um, I got to make a move. Yeah, because he's what he's doing now. If he takes my uh, C4 pawn with his rook, he's threatening to win my knight. Yeah, he's going to win a piece, I can tell. Because I don't really have a choice in the matter here. Yeah, the AI is playing pretty strong. I think that it's not playing too strong, but it's definitely playing um, uh, quite strong, if I got to say. It's definitely playing quite strong, because right now it's about to put some pressure on my knight again. But I think I might have a move here that might do something. No, it won't. I got 16 seconds left. It's going to go here. I'm going to go here. So again, the, the AI is playing good in this game. I, I like it. I think that if you bat this board... And you do play with the AI, it will give you a challenge. And I don't think it'll be too too uh overly challenged, but um but uh you you will get a challenge for sure. And that was a bad move because now he's gonna go bishop to h three. And I can't take that rope with my knight because uh um uh let's see here. Rope takes. Okay. And then rook takes. Got to take. He's gonna take with his queen or bishop. I'm not sure yet. I'm gonna just play it out here because uh, uh, it's just okay. Queen takes. Queen takes. Okay. Okay. He's obviously gonna take my queen back here. I guess I got, which, how can you resign here? I guess it's better just to go ahead and resign. Okay, so if I go, let me see here. I'm trying to figure out where's the resign button at so I can 
Uh, I don't really even. Let me see. Maybe we go to the board here. Uh, I don't even. I don't see how to reside here. That's the thing. Uh, while I'm playing. I don't even, I don't see how to, how to, but it could lose on time. <laughs> Hold on, let's just see. Maybe I could put some pressure on it and it might lose on time. Let's see. Okay. Well, it ran out of time, which I'm not, I'm not saying that so I don't even count it as a win for me because I was trying to resign and, and I would respectfully resign against a human in that case uh, but at the same time it was a blitz game so that shows you that the AI not only uh, plays not so bad moves but it can play strong moves and also um, the time constraints that it have sometimes like might work in your favor because again the whole point of having a board like this and playing against the AI is for you to have some chances to win because if you played against a computer and you want to lose every time you just download stockfish 15 you just lose every game in a row and never never win the game so i think this board does well with the ai i'm impressed with the ai i i, I like this ai and this board uh a bit better than i've seen some other stuff in the past so with that said uh that's the end in this video and I hope you Jack guys enjoyed this video and got something out of it and get a little better insight into how the AI on this board works. And again, I will come back in some future videos. I want to try uh, doing like a handicap game or something like that. Or, or I want to play it against like a, a chess engine, a very strong chess engine or another one of my boards and see how it reacts. But anyway, you guys take care and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.